So the IG report's supposed to be coming out later today, and that is something I'll be reading and covering extensively. But sometimes when stuff like that's about to be released, other things are released and it slips beneath the cracks. And I think that's the case today. So we've had Freedom of Information Act requests about the Afghanistan war going on for a long time. And as is always, they're stymied. And now we know over 2,000 pages of notes have been released that shows, drum roll please, you ready? <laughs> It turns out we were lied to over and over by intel officials and politicians about the Afghanistan war. Who would have thought? They were fudging numbers of the amount of money that it was costing, the amount of U.S. troops that were casualties, the amount of success we were having over there. They were doing this for years. Now remember, this is a war that's been going on since 2003. One of the reasons I voted for Trump is I'm sick and tired of these deep state officials. And I know everyone laughs and calls me a conspiracy theorist when I say that. But I'm proven right over and over again. And by that I mean uh, people in the corporate world that affect policy, unelected intel officials and bureaucrats, politicians that are at the top of both parties and in the establishment. They constantly lie to us about the important things, such as bailing out bankers, such as, what do I always say, regime change wars. Remember, this is something the left used to be for. They were against Bush in the Iraq war. But somehow they've been on board with things like the war in Afghanistan, the situation in Libya, the situation in Syria, etc. And I'm telling people over and over, no, these intel officials constantly lie over and over and over again. Yet every time I say this, the rebut that I'm given is, oh, no, no, everyone agrees. Everyone agrees that they're right. Look at just the other, look at the impeachment hearings. We're just told, oh, everyone in the State Department says we have to give the Ukraine these weapons. Everybody says it. It would be a terrible idea not to. Everybody said that we couldn't pull out of Syria because of the Kurds. Everybody says it. It must be true. Well, once more, my point is everybody said that about Afghanistan. And look, we were lied to. They lied to us knowingly over and over. Just like they lied to us in Syria that they had proof that Assad dropped those chemical weapons. We now know through whistleblowers at the OPCW, that's a lie. So the same people that lied to us, they lied to us for years now. Almost two decades about the Afghan war. Intentionally lying to you, the American people, so that your friends and family, or maybe yourself, went over to that place, Afghanistan, and suffered. Those same people that lied to you are now lying to you. Now they, they hate Trump, Schumer told us. They'll find six ways from Sunday getting back to Trump. They hate when Trump says we should pull troops out of these places. They hate when Trump says maybe we shouldn't be giving foreign aid to uh, weapons that would lead to confrontation with all these countries. They hate that. Now that's not to say Trump's done perfect. But what this story really shows, look, I haven't read all 2,000 pages. I just read the summary, and I'm going to try to read more of it. But what it shows is something that I'm constantly saying. These appeals to, oh, we have to listen to the intel agency. Oh, we have to listen to the establishment. They all say it, so therefore it must be true. It's wrong. They're wrong over and over, and they lie over and over. So excuse me when I don't believe you when you say Trump needs to be impeached. Everybody in the intel community said so. Everybody says it. Well, guess what? They all said this about Afghanistan, and they lied about that as well. So just a short little video to hit that point. I think it's very important. Stop letting people and stop agreeing just because everyone in the intel agency says something that it's true. That's garbage. They lie over and over. This report shows it again. So, hey, stay tuned. I'll be doing more stuff on the IG report later today. I'll probably be trying to do more stuff on the impeachment as well. So stay tuned to that. And uh, thank you, everyone. Please like and subscribe if you haven't. And uh, recommend me some other people. I think I would really appreciate that. So thank you, everyone, and have a good one.